Hello and welcome to the Scratch Coding class. It has been a while but I'm back and today I'm going to teach you how to make a dodgeball game on Scratch. And if you haven't already make sure to subscribe. It's free and it will only take you two seconds. And here is just a quick demonstration of the game. So we can pick our level. I am just going to pick advanced. And you basically got to control the person with the arrow keys. And I'm going to show you how to code this. So let's get started right now. Okay, so we are in Scratch right now, and the first thing we want to do right now is to make the sprite that is actually going to dodge the ball. So, for today, I'm just going to choose one from the library. I am going to choose a crab, and we put the crab round about there, would be a good position. We got to use this, go to X, Y block. I hope you can see it okay. So, and then we got when green flag clicked to start the script. And then, once we've done that, we want to say, welcome to dodgeball. So, of course, we want to show the sprite, and then we go, say hello, welcome to dodgeball. So, if you don't know what I'm talking about, make sure to watch out the 7 minute videos. They explain all the blocks on Scratch in just 7 minutes per section, and it's very good for beginners. And then, we can ask a question on sensing, and we can go ask, uh, do you know the rules? And when we say, do we know the rules, we wait for a response, and then if the answer is no, so we can do an if block, we go into the equals and operators, we type in no, and then we get our answer, which is the answer to the question, and then if answer equals no, then we'll do a, a big explanation of all the rules, so for now I'm just going to type in rules, I'm not going to bore you with that, and then once we have explained all the rules there, we can simply broadcast a message and to broadcast a message you should go into events and then it says broadcast message 1 and I'm just going to keep it message 1. So that is the first part of the coding complete. Okay, so we've got to make the buttons in which we press to choose the difficulty of our levels. So what we've got to do is we're going to make some sprites. We always convert to bitmap if we're working with our own sprites and then for this I'm just going to type beginner okay this is will be the beginner button so if we want to play beginner mode we just press this button and then we are in beginner mode and then we've got the rectangle you should fill it and with a certain color you want and then put outlined so instead of filling the text it will just create a box around it like so and then we can move this up a wee bit to get it into position then we are going to make another sprite not there we are going to go into paint and then this time I am going to choose a different colour. I'm going to choose, let's say, green. And I'm going to type advanced. I'm going to ignore intermediate for this video because that will take too long to do. So here we are with advanced. We'll get our uh, box around it. Okay, and that is basically done. And the advanced is sort of too big. I don't want it that big. So I can always change the size, remember in the size bit down there and I think that's perfect now. So what we've got to do now is because we sent a message that message is going to show up the buttons. So we've got to do when I receive that message one we go show and this time we're going to go when green flag clicked and we're going to go hide because we do not want to see this at the green flag and then we can go to sprite 2 do the exact same with that when green flag clicked and when I receive message one and then hide and then show. So if we start the game right now, just to test it, hello and welcome to dodgeball, I know the rules, this pops up. And now that's the next bit complete. Okay, so next we have got to give these buttons a function, so that when the user presses them, the level will activate. So we've got when the sprite clicked, and then we're gonna broadcast a message called beginner. If you do not know how to create a message, it's simply you go into new message, and then it will ask you for your message name, and you just type that in. I call mine beginner and then we're going to ca call another message it's called done so that means done means when we click the button the buttons will hide again and then beginner will just activate the beginner level and then we have simply got to do the same for the advanced but this time instead of calling beginner we can call advanced like so and then we are going to also broadcast done so the button is pressed right now we've got to give these uh, a function so for done is the easiest what we are going to do is 
when when we finish with done we can hide so the hide is in looks then we do the exact same for the other sprite the two sprites are very similar and then as we've done then hide okay so and next we are going to go back to that uh, crab and then we are going to give it a function that it will move so we are going to go when it was done for the crab I'm going to zoom it out a wee bit because there's not enough room so when I was done we are simply going to do an if two ifs actually and then we have got to do a forever loop around them when that's done we have to go to sensing and this is basically the controls for the crab so we either have left or right it can't go up or down so if key left arrow pressed you don't have to do the left arrow by the way most people like using W A S D I personally just like the arrows so when left arrow pressed and when right arrow pressed when the left arrow is pressed we will change X by minus 15 and X remember is uh, left to right so minus 15 will get it to go left by 15 steps and then we can simply do change X by 15 for the right arrow and then now if we test it hello and welcome to dodgeball I know the rules we're gonna cut beginner and then we can have the opportunity to move the sprite about now and the sprite will reset to its original position when we press the green flag again and this is the next part done okay so now we are gonna code the sprites that are going to fall onto the crab and the crab's got to uh, dodge them so in the last one I think I did a basketball, I'm going to do a beach ball, it doesn't matter, you can choose whatever you want. Okay, we are going to go green flag clicked as usual and we are going to go hide because we do not want to see uh, the ball up in the air when we press the green flag. And then we've got to go to a random position. So it's, let me see, go to random position is there and then we set X, no, set Y, Y is up and down to 180. And that is just basically going to uh, put the sprite up high in the air and at a random position ready to fall. So we can attach that to our very simple script. Right, the next thing we have got to do is we've got to use that beginner function that we just created. So we have to go when I receive beginner. So the when I receive block is right there. And this is going to be the beginner ball. When I receive beginner. And then after we receive beginner, we're going to wait one second because we want to give a bit of delay. And then we're going to show it. So that means the user can see the sprite. And then we are going to go repeat until touching referee. In my case, but in this case, it's the crab. So we'll, there's a repeat until here. Then we've got a touching block and touching the crab. Repeat until touching crab, and then we've got to change the Y by minus 5. So that's basically going to uh, get the sprite to fall down. You can speed it up. I will show you if you want to speed it up. You can do minus 10, and in the advance in that case, I do minus 15. So we're just going to stick with minus 5 because it's beginner. And then if Y position is less than 160, so we've got to go to events no control I mean and then Y position is less than this is the less than block and then there's Y position there and we're gonna go minus 160 then if it's m less than minus 160 we can go to a random position again and then set the Y to 180 like so so this should be the script watch it it falls and then it touched the crab so that's it okay and then after this we are going to do a stop all block at the end because when it touches the referee the whole script is over you lose so there's stop all and then we got to duplicate the sprite about three times I did in the other one I am going to duplicate it like so and then that's free 
times they all have the exact same script right that's that part done okay so i've done a couple of things so firstly i've made the tennis balls and all you need to do is just change beginner to advanced and then you've got to change the y speed to minus 15. the second thing i did was create a variable you can go into variables here and i just simply renamed the my variable by doing that you can rename your variable and now what we have got to do is we have got to make a script so we can see our own scores so when i receive beginner we are going to use one of these blocks to change score by minus one get a wait one second block and then repeat until touching crab so the repeat is here and, and then touching crab and that is the script for the beginner and we also want to set the score to zero at the start of the game so we want to do when green fly click set score to zero and I don't know but you probably want to hide the variable score so you don't see it until we re uh, go to beginner we can show the variable score and every one second the crab survives the score goes up by one right we are going to do the exact same with the advanced but this time we are going to do when I receive advanced then we are going to do a repeat loop and then we are going to do the touching crab and sensing then after we do that we can uh, change our score by one but this time it's got to survive three seconds so so it's got to survive three seconds to get one point in beginner just needs to survive one second to get one point and this does make the game a bit more challenging And if you want to make the game a bit easier, you can do like two seconds or something. I'm just going to keep it three seconds for now. Okay, now, now that's finished. We can move on to the next part. Okay, so I have also put the show variable score in advance. I forgot to say that earlier. So now we can actually test the game. It should be working. Hello and welcome Dodgeball. You know the rules, yes. Okay, I am just going to click beginner because I want to show you how this works. So we simply move the sprite, like so, trying to dodge the balls. The balls can spawn randomly, and the score keeps going up, as you can see, every second I survive. You can go through the end like that, but you can fix that. And then, if we touch the ball, the game ends. And that's how it works. Now, that fix, you see the crab can go to the end, and we don't want that to happen. So, we can do this simple if we go if x position the x position is left to right is i think it's greater than so i want to check out the x position right here the very edge 175 so if it's greater than 175 this time instead of going instead of going right i mean we should go left so it should be like so, and then if the x position is less than minus 175 this time. And then we can change the x by 15. So we're basically doing the reverse if, if we're going to the edge of the map, and we should hopefully find out if it works we're gonna do beginner again I can't go to the edge nook I'm stuck I can't go to that edge either so that is how you fix the problem and in case you want me to see advanced here it is and I've already died so okay that's it for today's dodgeball game I hope you enjoyed it and if you did make sure to subscribe and leave a like on this video if you uh, like it and also check out all my other videos on this channel i do a lot of coding with scratch videos so anyway i'll see you next time bye for now